So what is it about poop and shrooms? How are these relevant to innovative treatments? Why are they good examples? I think they're good examples for one reason, because for a lot of the public, probably there's confusion about whether they could actually work. They're unusual, they're not par for the course. In some ways, there's levels of disgust or unfamiliarity with them. It seems like they'd be great targets to seem like a fake remedy rather than an actual uh, a fictitious remedy. Yeah. yeah, definitely, for sure. I mean, I think from uh, from my perspective, they're they're good examples because they are somewhat extreme examples. Um, you know, I think they really hit home the role that certain emotions, such as disgust or, or fear, can play in people's hesitancy or skepticism towards innovative treatments. Um, but there are, all, you know, a lot of of new treatments that are, you know, not so extreme where people have similar emotions. Um, in some of the work that we've done, we've looked at uh, adoption of in-home kidney care. It's not quite as extreme as fecal transplant or psychedelics, but um, in that case, you know, the the fear of the unknown um, and feelings of, you know, some patients report feelings of disgust having to uh, set up the machine on themselves and... and uh, well, there's a lot of adjustment about what you expect to yeah. encounter in a medical setting and what you have to do for all those three kind of innovations. Yeah, exactly. 